This is Mayor Paul Broda. Massachusetts continues to make good progress in carefully reopening, and we have moved into the second part of phase two. We are learning from the experience of other states, however, that the failure to take this pandemic seriously and continue to follow established public health best practices can lead to a resurgence of the virus, and we simply cannot afford to go backward. That is why it remains so important for you and for the community that you continue to do things like use face coverings, maintain social distancing, and wash your hands. You all deserve credit for our tremendous success thus far, but this is all about public health and community action. And with your continued help, we will be able to continue to move ahead to phase three. And Melrose Pride Week officially kicked off with a flag raising at City Hall last Sunday. The Melrose Human Rights Commission, in partnership with the Foundation Trust, have many virtual and socially distanced events planned for throughout the week. You can find more information on the Melrose Human Rights Commission Facebook page. One way you can celebrate all week is to grab some sidewalk chalk, to draw or write messages on, uh, on the sidewalk or in the street even, but be careful, and decorate your doors and windows to celebrate pride. Also, the Melrose Public Library has curated a list of eBooks for all ages to read in celebration of Pride Week. You can find the list on the Melrose Public Library website or their Facebook page. And tomorrow, there will be virtual musical performances by local artists. Again, you can find out more information about the entire schedule of events by visiting the Facebook page of the Melrose Human Rights Commission. Finally, we have some tremendous leaders in Massachusetts who have supported fairness and equality their entire careers, including Congresswoman Catherine Clark and Attorney General Mara Healy. I wanna take this opportunity to thank them for their leadership. Each has recorded a message to the residents of Melrose to help celebrate pride. Take a look, because they're gonna follow my remarks and remember that together, we will get through this. Hi everyone, I'm Maura Healy, your Attorney General. I wanna thank my friend, Mayor Broder, for asking me to help Melrose kick off your Pride Week. The LGBT community received a major win this week. The Supreme Court ruled that Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 protects LGBTQ employees from discrimination in the workplace. This is a historic achievement and should be celebrated, but there's still so much work to do. We're living in critical times. As a nation, we're actively fighting a pandemic, fighting for black lives to be regarded and treasured equally, and fighting for a justice system that works to protect all people. Over the past few weeks, we've had to confront our history, which has routinely excluded, oppressed, demeaned, and criminalized those who are different or challenged the status quo. It's time we get past that and we act. That means justice for Remy Fells, Rhea Milton, Tony McDade, and every other black transgender person taken from us this year. This means support for our black and our brown communities who have disproportionately suffered during this pandemic and who are putting everything on the line to stand up against 400 years of injustice and systemic racism. This means honoring the diversity and intersectionality of the people around us. And this means solidarity from the white community. Use your voice, dollars, network, or whatever you have to advocate for black and brown people. Now more than ever, we need to reject the legacy that our history has laid out for us and lead the way toward a better, equitable, and more inclusive future. Hi, I'm Congresswoman Katherine Clark, and I wanna wish all my fellow Melroseans a very happy Pride Week. Pride Week may look a little different this year, but we have much to celebrate. Just last week, the Supreme Court ruled that LGBTQIA workers are protected from workplace discrimination, moving us that much closer to equal treatment under the law. But while we celebrate this victory, we must also recognize there is so much work to be done. Pride has always been about lifting up all voices and empowering marginalized communities to demand equality and justice for all. And now more than ever, we are reminded that this fight is a shared fight. As Marsha Pay It No Mind Johnson said, 
No pride for some of us without liberation for all of us. This fight is intersectional and it is not over. We must take this moment where there is so much pain and anger and channel it into action and demand justice. Justice for those killed by police. Justice for trans people, especially trans women of color who experience such high rates of violence. Justice for undocumented immigrants suffering under the brutality of this administration. Justice for communities of color who bear the brunt of pollution. Justice for Native Americans who are still having sacred land taken from them. Justice for Black Americans who have endured centuries of systemic racism in this country. We will continue the fight together in solidarity until our country lives up to the promise of liberty, equality, and justice for all. For there is no pride for some of us without liberation for all of us. Thank you and happy Pride Week.